Okay, now um, today's tip is about spray gun setup. So I'm here with uh, Mario from VG Auto Paints, and he's uh, gonna help us out with setting up our spray gun. We're gonna start off with acrylic primer, and we've got a 1.8 millimeter gun, and um, we're going to just show you how to set that up. Now the best way to spray acrylic primer, it says in the data sheet to use 45, 55 psi, but um, what do you reckon, 35? Oh, oh, yeah, about, about 35, 40 psi. 35. A little bit too, only because on a hot day, on a cooler day, Dave, you'll get away with that high air pressure. But on a warmer day, mm -hmm. okay, being warm and too much air, you'll end up with a dry spray. In other words, you'll get like a sandy finish on top there. That's if you run too high of an air pressure okay. on a warmer day. No worries. Well, we've got this um, air pressure gauge on the gun. If you set up the air pressure at your compressor, then you can lose pressure through your airline. Isn't that right? Correct, yes. So um, having it set up on your gun is probably the best way to go. And make sure you wind this dial at the bottom all the way out because that controls your air pressure. So wind that all the way out and your um, dial will be correct. So, um, all right, so I'll let you um, test it for us. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'll give a quick, quick rundown on how, how the gun actually works. Up top here is our fan control. So the fan control is our spray pattern. So we're going to either have a fan that, that's a circle like this, or we can have a fan that's wide like that. That's our top button. This one here is our fluid control. Fluid control is the amount of paint that runs down through the pot and through out of the gun head. That's our fluid control. This one down the bottom, that's our air regulator. That adjusts how much air goes actually through the gun. Because we've got a separate air regulator here, we'll leave that one all the way open, okay? And we'll adjust our air with this one here. As you can see, the dial is down at 10 feet per side. As you crank it up, you can see it going right up and beyond what we need. So, right, for now, I'm gonna run it at about 40 per side. Okay, our fan, okay, which is our top one here, and our fluid here, I've screwed them all the way in. How do we test them? What I like to do, now if them screwed all the way in, I screw the trigger, I get nothing. First I'll do is I'll take out our, our, fluid, our fluid control. What I'll do, there's a little mark on it there, so I'm going to back it out two turns. There's one turn, there's two turns. Give that a try. I'll give it another half a turn. And I'm getting plenty of spray. But I've only got a little bit of fan. What I'd like to do now is open the top one up. And I've got a fan. Okay, so I've opened that one up. It does that. I'll screw it back in again. And I've got that. That's wrong. Okay, that's right. Can you see that? It's a hand span. Okay, so we want a hand span fan. Okay, we keep the gun a hand span away from the job. So we'll check our fan again. Go a bit bigger. Like, like so. So we've got a hand span fan. Right, that's too small. See that? From here to here, hand span. So we've got a hand span fan. Now we'll keep the job, our gun a hand span away. And as you see when I'm spraying here, I overlap the stroke by 50%. That's how we set it up a primer. Just done the primer demo, now we're going to do some colour demo. This is acrylic paint, and again, we're going, to, we're going to show you how to use a gun, how to set the gun up. Same as the other gun. But it's the same for two-pack base coat and acrylic. Correct, so yeah, yeah, yeah. 2K base coat and acrylic, much the same setup. Okay, this gun here, Dave sort of already mentioned, it's a 1.2 mil setup. Okay, and then what, okay, some people ask 1.8, 1.2, and it all, on the front of the gun here, that's the gun, the whole, the whole size, right at your air cap here and stuff like that, that's the size, so it's a 1.2 mil or it's a 1.8 mil, and that's where the 1.2 comes in, 1.8. Okay, same as the other gun, up here, is our fan control, which enables our spray pattern. This here is our fluid control. Remember, it lets the paint through the gun. So the more we open that out, the more paint's gonna go through there. The more we restrict it, close it in, the less paint will come through. And down the bottom here is our air regulator. That lets us in how much air. Again, we've got our air regulator here. 
So as David said earlier, we'll open that one right up from the word go now. So it's fully open because we want to adjust our air from here. Now if you don't have one of these air regulators, how do you know what pressure to put? Well you should be running an, an air regulator on your compressor no matter what. So what you do, okay, have a look on your compressor and you should have your air, your air regulator. Set your air regulator. But remember, if you've got a 10 or 15 metre hose, okay, you want to set your air regulator a little bit higher, okay, so that way by the time the air comes to your spray gun, yeah. it's going to be running at around sort of 40, you know what I mean, the 35 psi, depending on what Now we've got acrylic here. Okay, I like to, I generally like to set the spray gun up at around 35 psi. And again, you can see our gauge there. It's going into the green. As I adjust it, you can see. You see the three, and we'll go up. That's about 35 psi. Around 35 to 40 psi. So that's our air pressure sorted. I'll come back on the brown paper here. Okay, first of all, we'll do our fan. Remember what I said about our primer. Same goes with our color. We want a hand span fan again. So we'll open this up. Oh. oh, look at that. You can see that, that's way too big. You can see we've got paint here and paint there and bugger all in the middle there. Okay, that's because the fan is open way too big. So we need to get it back down again. To a hand span fan. A little bit too big, just a big, just a touch too big, but that there, perfect. Okay. Now our fluid control, we'll screw it all the way in. You can see there, there's a number three nearly on the top there. We'll turn that around. So there's one turn. There's two turns. I like the two and a half turns. So there's about two and a half turns there. So screw it all the way in. Yep. Then screw it out two and a half turns. Correct, correct. And away we go. Remember, overlapping by 50%. That's great. Uh, we've got the acrylic clear now, that's pretty much the same setup for acrylic clear. Correct, yeah. Now we just made acrylic, our acrylic colour here. Acrylic colour, acrylic clear is the same. We'll send it out the same at 1 to 1, 50 50, okay, or 100 parts paint, 100 parts thinner, okay. Um, always use my acrylic thinner, okay. But on a hot day, okay, you might want to drop the air pressure down a little bit more, okay, and add just a little bit of retarder thinner. Okay, just just to uh, get get the flow out a bit more. And what about a uh, two pack clear? Two pack clear, two pack clear. Okay, that's that's totally different again. Two pack clear, you got your clear. We've got a hardener, and you can put a touch of reducer on it. Okay, okay? two K clear should be sprayed in a controlled environment, like a spray booth. Um, so yeah. set up your gun pretty much the same. Well, the gun setup is much the same. Yeah, you screw your fluid needle all the way in. Okay, and back it out two turns and work from two turns onwards. Okay, and, you, and you'll be pretty much on the money. Um, what about HVLP guns? HVLP, okay, today we're using conventional spray guns, okay? So conventional spray guns, basically your standard sort of spray gun. HVLP, HVLP spray gun stands for high volume, low pressure, okay? They are designed to use less, less paint, Okay. And have less overspray. And less overspray, correct. So then you put more paint on the job rather than into the atmosphere. Correct, correct, correct. Now if you're not really sort of qualified and had a lot to do with them, they can be a little bit tricky to use, okay? I've seen many tradesmen sort of not using correctly as well. So they are, and HBL doesn't start just at spray gun. HBLP starts from the compressor. So you really got to set the whole lot up for you with that. Okay, that. so in other words, if you've got a HBLP gun, uh, you really need to research and and, and, and do you do get yeah. the whole all your equipment set up for HPLP. Correct. Yes. Right. Yes. We all can right. talk about that another day. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right, thanks, that. No worries, buddy. Oh, Thank you. Up. You too. Yeah. Oh, it's good. I'd just like to mention that uh, all this paint is acrylic, which is the same stuff that comes out of spray cans. Uh, we're not using any hardener or anything here, and that's why we're not wearing masks. So. Um, you still should wear a mask. Always should wear a uh, We've got a lot of ventilation here.
Mario's already got keys. <laughs> <laughs> that one in the hole. That was good. That was good. I didn't feel good when I did it.